Hey YouTube, today I'll be reviewing the 12 inch Deadpool by Marvel Legends. So let's take it out of the box and see what we're gonna see what's up. As you can see, this is what it looks like in package. It has two different heads, two different guns. We got four different hands. You also have a peg to hold up one of the heads, you know, alongside your figure right here. Comes with a knife. We all know what that is. Deadpool loves his Mexican food. He cannot go without his chimichangas. Alright, so I'm going to take him out of the package and we're going to see what's up. So here's the figure. As you can tell, it's bigger than Mar normal Marvel Legends. It's a 12 inch. The swords detach and they come out of the back. It comes with two of them, two katanas, which is definitely a dope feature. I was actually hoping that these guns right here would come out their holster, but they don't. But either way, it's okay. It's still definitely a dope figure. It has just about all the normal articulation of a regular Marvel Legends figure. As you can see, the shoulders swivel on both sides. The ankles are able to move around. The bottom half of the whole leg actually moves around. So that's pretty dope. We could definitely get some good poses out of this figure for sure. Also, you know, the normal arm movement from, you know, the regular figures. He also looks down this much, looks up this much. Head moves side to side, moves up just a little bit, not too far. But still some pretty good articulation for a 12 inch figure nonetheless. As I stated before, he comes with detachable hands. Actually two different sets. As you can see here, he also comes with this gun, a little Deadpool pistol, and when he needs some heavy artillery, he comes out with this gun right here. As you can see, there's a Deadpool logo right here next to the barrel, which is pretty dope. He comes with two of these little knives, which I can tell you I for one won't be using at all. And, of course, he comes with his chimichanga. Look at the details in the chimichanga. You can see the meat and the cheese. I even like the look of the tinfoil that wraps it up. And he also comes with these detachable heads. This one being my favorite. And yes, if you are wondering, it does spin. It does spin, indeed. And he comes with this head as well. I like the look of the torn mask and you know, you can see his face. Y'all remember the jokes they were cracking on him in the movie? It definitely applies to this face here. The accessories fit in his hand perfectly. Which is not something you see all the time with Marvel Legends and other action figures. But they definitely fit perfectly. The head and the hands actually snap on way easier than the Sixth Sense Marvel Legends, at least in my opinion. So they, here you see him enjoying his chimichanga. And yes, I do have Power Rangers VHS tapes in my man cave. Don't judge me. And here's his other head sculpt. I'm really going to have a lot of fun with this spinning thing on top of his head. Like I can't get enough of spinning it for some reason. But yeah, all in all, the figure retails for 50 bucks. Usually I would say that's too much for Marvel Legends. But the fact that it is 12 inches, it does have a lot of detail. It is 10 times better than the other 12 inch Marvel Legends that are out so far. So I would definitely suggest buying it. I found this one at TRU. 
I've heard they're hurt, hitting Game Stops, different places like that. I would definitely suggest this figure. I saw a few people I know on Instagram passing up on it because of the price point, which I've passed up on all the other 12-inch Marvel Legends so far until I find them on clearance. But this guy, I went ahead and shelled out the 50 bucks for because he was definitely worth it. The amount of detail and everything with this figure is great. I mean, it's no Hot Toys, of course, but Marvel Legends is definitely stepping up their 12-inch game. So I definitely suggest you purchase this figure if you do find it. He's actually been pretty hard to find from what I know. But that's all for this quick toy review. Stay tuned for more. Be sure to like and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at FunkyoPop underscore 912. And I'll get back to you in more reviews soon.